Yo YouTube and welcome back to the channel today. I'm going to be trying to show you guys how you can control gunfights and win more of them no matter where, what kind of scenario you're in, okay? So, I'm going to be doing a live comm and my focus is going to be to win more gunfights. So right now we hear someone on top. So obviously we hear someone right on top of us. So we're going to try to get the high ground here. So let's try jumping up. Yeah, there you go. Slide across. Okay, so... He's obviously dead right there, but we know now someone's got a sniper on the enemy team. And if we see him, we'll be a bit more cautious next time. So let me go through. Let me just move my mic one second. All right, cool. So right now, we know they're probably going to go back to this high ground, okay? So let's go back here. There's one. So right there, I just kind of predicted that the sniper would go back to his high ground. We spot the enemy on the left. Take him out. We get out of that position right now. We spot another sniper. There you go. Three down. So let's tuck in the corner here. Now we're actually going to reposition. I want to get into cover here and just kind of just assess the situation, see what's happening. So I spot someone on my left. So let's take our time. Let's put a trophy down in case somebody comes on our right. Take our time. So it's a bit risky, but it's going to slide across there. We don't see anyone right now. So we're trying to get back to the high ground and just see where the opponents are going to be. So looking at the minimap, okay, it looks like they're going to be at C and they're also going to be right on my right. So I'm assuming... Okay, so someone's far there. We have a sun machine gun, so we're going to try to get across. There's one. Play the outskirts. Perfect. We've got a UAV. Oh. I didn't actually see him right there. Okay, so that's our first death. So, so far, we're four and one. So what we're going to be focusing on now is taking this guy off the high ground. So let's shoulder it for a second. We don't see him exactly there. We're going to go across. And again, because I've got a submachine gun. There you go. Oh, that's just a good shot from him, to be honest with you. That's just a scenario where, you know what, fair play. Great shot from him. Couldn't do much about that one. But yeah, we're going to go through. There's an enemy on top of us. I think he just jumped down. There he is. He looks like he's going up top. So let's wait for a second. Missed a lot of shots there. But you see, we were able to kind of go through. And we're maybe... We'll be, I can't speak English. We were basically able to track him through his movement and just see where he was going to go. We get another one pushing through. Right, so now I'm looking at the minimap, okay? And they're not on C just yet, so I'm just going to back off. And my main goal here is to get some easy kills. I'm looking at the minimap and I see them all on the left, all right? That's perfect, that's fine. We're going to go across, jump across here. Let's pick up an MTZ, okay? So I see someone shooting me. So there's no point repositioning through the same angle because, I mean, he's already pre aiming me, right? So let's go across, go to the left here. Good shots, but we don't manage to kill him. Let's challenge this guy. The reason we chowed him there is because he probably wasn't expecting it. Okay. At this point, it's going to play our life. Make this guy weak. I, I want to get out of there, so... I'm just going to slide away. I think someone's going to be around here, to be honest. There's one. Yeah, I'm just... He's right behind me. There you go. So, right there, got extremely mixy. I tried to play my life. Just tried to get out of there. Jump across. There's another one. UAV goes up there. Right, they're all on the right there. So, let's go in this tunnel. Again, you got to think of the weapon you're using and try fighting in those close combat areas or far, depending on the weapon. So, right now, we have a submachine gun, right? So, let me take this gunfight in here. So that guy's weak. We can challenge because he's one shot. There you go. We take him out. There should be a guy on my right. Take him out. Oh, he's absolute. Okay, so now we have a second to kind of breathe and just think about what's happening. What I'm trying to do constantly, right, is play depending on my gun. So, right, help. We get a kill again. So, yeah, because I've got a submachine gun, I'm trying to go into these close combat areas. And when I expect somebody to push me, I'm kind of holding my angle, pre-aiming him. I'm just doing stuff like that. But the good thing is we actually picked up an AR. So, now I can take my time, play a little bit of range here. We spot the opponent in the distance. He's weak. We're going to back off. Okay. So bit, oh, playing on quite high sensitivity right now, so it's a bit difficult, but trying to get used to it. The mission is half complete. So we don't know exactly where they're going to be. I'm just going to bait the, the window. So right here, we see him in the... Oh, there you go, there's one. I'm actually going to play aggressive here. Maybe it was the wrong call, so let's play our life for a second. Somebody's on B. Enemy securing Bravo. So my teammates watch it. Okay, so I see someone on my right. Oh, I didn't really want to be in that scenario because I just felt like I was getting shot from so many angles. So I decided to get out and then right there was just a bit of reflexes, but it wasn't the best play in terms of natural positioning. I'm going to go back there because now we have a bit more control. Now we've got the helicopter. I can be a little bit more free. Spot someone on C. Nice single. There you go. 
So let's just get out with our life. Okay, right there, what we did was just get two really free kills. So both of them really weren't looking at me. We've got some nice angles and we're able to take them both out. But now that I'm two off my helicopter, we're going to start to play for that a bit more. The only problem is there's only two of them on the other team right now. So uh, let's see what happens. If they end up leaving, we'll, we'll get into another game. But I'm actually going to play for my helicopter regardless of how many people are left. Oh, that again, really fortunate. Take our time there. Back off. Okay, so another person spawned in. Let's go through. I think once I get a helicopter, we'll, um, we'll put this game going to another map. Let's see what to do when we're on a streak. So then we wait for an easy kill. This guy looks like he's one shot. It's so right there. So because he was one shot, I was able to push him. You know what? Might as well just stay in this. Might as well finish this off. So I kind of, I've been playing well with a submachine gun. So I want to pick up a striker right now. Wait till he goes out in the open. Take him out. Now, look at the UAV. This is where we can get a lot of intel, a lot of kills. Okay, there's more people spawned in right now. So there's a guy in the distance. We're just going to take our time here. There's a guy right on my left. So I'm actually going to push him because he's not looking at us. There's one. Back off. So I see them spawning on my left, okay? I obviously don't really want to mess with them right now. I want them to be out in the open. Like that guy there, out in the open. 15 kill streak. So far, so good. Again, good shots off out in the open. I can actually put a trophy system down. Now, where are these guys going? Well, they're going on the right. So let me try sneaking by. Go right behind them. Now, I don't want to shoot just yet because someone might come behind me. Take him out. Perfect. Same thing on the right. So this guy's one shot. It's going to take our time. But because of the advanced UV, we know where he is. Okay, I think we're going to go tuck around here. We made him weak. So right there, it was kind of a little test, right? If I could hit my first few shots, I would have committed. But because I missed them, it probably wasn't worth it. So it's back off. Oh, someone's right there. And yeah, right there. Bit unfortunate. I don't know if he had ghost or what kind of happened there. But to be honest, we got caught off guard. I didn't see him on the map. And yeah, we got caught slipping. But you know what? So far, so good. We were on like an 18 kill streak right there, which definitely wasn't bad at all. Um, I want to do another map, man. So let's finish this off and get right into another map. So because we finished on our... Let's, right, let's get this guy. So he's jumped off right there. So we're going to just see what he's doing. Made him one shot. Obviously, I could have just finished him off, but I, I don't know. I just wanted to reposition just, just to, like, guarantee the kill. Sometimes it's not about just getting the kill. It's about getting the kill with maximum uh, health as well. Because that's how you don't get traded. So right now, I know they're on my left. Okay, they're on A. So I'm going to go through. I'm going to slide across. I'm going to jump around the corner. Take out one. Back off straight away. Because I know someone might be behind me. Go through a different angle. And uh, yeah, there you go. Just like that. Easy kill. So again, I didn't know he was going to be there. I kind of just predicted. And I mean, obviously, this is a skill-based matchmaking lobby. Everyone's kind of level 55. And I think I did pretty well. I think I played that pretty well. 25 kills, most in the lobby. And unfortunately, they had people leaving. So I think that was one of those games where I probably could have got maybe a nuke if I played a little bit smarter. I think an assault rifle in my back pocket probably would have helped me get a nuke there. But 25 and 3, I'm, I'm not going to complain, okay? I'm not going to complain with 25 and 3. So that's game one. Absolutely frying them. Let's get into another game and see how we do. So I was going to jump into another game, but I decided not to because I had to head off for the night. This is the next day now. And what I'm going to be doing is basically showing you the class help we use, just in case you guys want to test it out and just see for yourself. But we use a rival 9. And if you guys like this style of commentary more, a bit more kind of just awareness and how to play the game generally, let me know down in the comments because I really enjoyed it. If we can get 100 likes i'll do some more of these maybe with different weapons let me know in the comments what type of weapon you want to see maybe specific game modes all that good stuff and i'll make sure to do it for you thank you guys for watching and i'll catch another video tomorrow peace